Hi guys, I'm Ayushi. Welcome to Law Digest. This is in continuation of our series on legal current affairs. This is video number two and here also we are going to cover some important legal current affairs for you guys as I already mentioned earlier that uh, we keep covering important landmark judgments. However, there is more to legal current affairs and I'll try to cover some important questions here. If you're looking for concrete material on legal current affairs on monthly basis, so you can check our website www.lawdigest.in where we keep covering them um, on monthly basis. We provide you with important landmark judgments and also some other miscellaneous current affairs like what is the new bill, any act, uh, anything related to the judges. So all these things get covered there. Let's look at the questions of this video. Who has been elected as the CM of Assam? It is Hemant Biswa Sharma who has been appointed as the CM of Assam. He is the 15th CM. Moving forward, according to Supreme Court, who can take the decision in declaring uh, SEBC, socially and economically backward community, these uh, classes are, इनको कौन डिक्लेयर कर सकता है? Who can prepare a list on these? It is the president. So Supreme Court basically ruled this in the case of Dr. Jayashree Lakshman Rao Patel versus State of Maharashtra, wherein we were dealing with Maratha quota, and uh, there also the Maratha quota was uh, uh, exceeding the prescribed limit of 50%. It is said that you cannot exceed reservations beyond 50%. This was held in the Mandal case. Mandal case, I've mentioned it many times earlier in the Indra Sahani judgment. So, uh, in uh, Dr. Jayashree Lakshman Rao Patil case, it was said that you cannot exceed uh, a particular reservation percentage that is 50% unless there are any exceptional circumstances and also it was said that it is the president who can decide that who will be the part of SCBC. So, the power was taken away from the states. As per the judgment, it seemed that the states do not have any power but then immediately after the judgment, uh, we saw an amendment. Which amendment was this? Very important. I've already made a specific video, individual video on this. Mention down the same in the comment box below so that I know that you are following the videos, you are understanding, you are preparing well and you also can check your own knowledge that are you well versed with the legal current affairs. Then moving on to the next question, then who has been appointed as the Chief Justice of Chhattisgarh High Court? So uh, let us look at the options. Justice Prashant Kumar Mishra, no, Gautam Bahaduri, no, Sanjay Kumar Agarwal. Okay, this is in duplicate. Uh, so the option here is, the correct answer here is, Arup Kumar Goswami has been appointed as a CJI of Chhattisgarh High Court. So basically, uh, what happens is who appoints the Chief Justice of a High Court? It is the Governor. Now, who is the Governor of Chhattisgarh? Anusuya UK is the Governor. So, this basic constitution law related questions, you should also know on the side that if you know, uh, High Court, we are dealing with High Court. So, who has the power to appoint the judges? Basically, it's a congregation of many people. And uh, how are they appointed? How do they resign? All these things you should study. You can even pause the video and uh, look up on the side as well. You can Google it up and see who is presently uh, the governor and what does the constitution say because you will be able to retain things better and you will keep practicing things like these. Then next question number four, who is the new chairperson of NHRC? So uh, NHRC is the body that looks after the uh, enforcement of human rights, protection of human rights and uh, now, this was a very controversial thing that happened. Let us look at the options. Justice D.Y. Chandrachud is not the chairman of uh, NHRC. N.V. Ramana, we know, is presently heading the CGI as the CGI. Uh, existing judge normally is uh, not the chairperson of such committees because these are all independent bodies. So, Existing judges are not a part of such bodies. It is mostly the retired judges, retired CGI or a senior judge 
uh, of the Supreme Court who becomes the chairperson of NHRC and um, the correct answer to this one is Justice Arun Kumar Mishra. There was a lot of protest by people because uh, he was known for some of his controversial judgments and it was felt that, you know, May, uh, because he praises the PM, the incumbent PM uh, Modi a lot. That is why he was appointed as the chairperson of NHRC. And uh, also, uh, they, at the same time, I think sometime before this, uh, Justice Ranjan Gogoi, who retired as a CGI, became the member of Rajya Sabha. So all these things were in the uh, part of the debate that uh, how come these judges are, uh, you know, getting so much of power. Now, moving forward, let's look at question number five. Kerala has won a legal case at the Registrar of Trademarks to use the letter K in acronym of which of its undertaking acronym meaning for the short form now these are the options kerala state electricity board uh, so basically uh, yes it was kerala state road transportation corporation uh, krtsc so basically just ttc uh, delhi ke liye hota hai aise hi ke kerala state ke liye hai and uh, they were allowed they won this case to use K as a part of their acronym. Then next, Ranbir Singh committee was formed for reforms in what? Now, Ranbir Singh uh, is the vice chancellor of NLU Delhi. And this committee was formed uh, to look into the reforms as to the criminal laws. There was another committee, very important Old committee, Malimath committee was formed to look into reforms, uh, to, to look into criminal reforms and now it is being done under the Ranbir Singh committee. Next, moving forward, 90 year old law hai, old lighthouse act, 1927 ka ye law hai. So now this law is being repealed and it is done by which bill? It is being done by Marine Aids to Navigation Bill 2021. This is the correct answer. Then moving forward, who has been appointed as the Solicitor General? Now, look at the options. Sanjay Jain, Balbir Singh. These options are confusing. Tushar Mehta, Ashwarya Bhati. Now, the Solicitor General of India is Tushar Mehta. And all these, uh, the remaining options, they are the additional solicitor general. They hold the post of additional solicitor general. Moving forward, right to shelter. So basically, right to shelter, we enjoy article ke under enjoy karte hai? Article 21, which speaks of life and, li life and liberty. Article 21 has a wide ambit. A lot of things are coming under Article 20. Right to privacy is a part of it. Then right to environment is a part of it. Many such things are coming under Article 21. In this particular case, it was said. Now, which case was this? This case was that of Union of India versus Omkar Nath Dhar. This is the correct answer. And uh, in this particular case, basically the government said this person got a, uh, an accommodation from the government as a part of uh, holding a public office. So uh, the government said that you cannot hold on to the accommodation that is given to you uh, after your retirement. That does not mean that you have the right to shelter, to occupy that particular premises that has been allotted to you in some capacity. Now that you've retired, you need to give it up. Your right to shelter will not arise in such a case. Then next, Supreme Court passed an interim order to allow women to take exam for NDA Army UPSC aviation. We already know they can take uh, examinations for UPSC, so we can rule out. These things are also important, ruling out. Uh, things are also important because they help you come to a right answer that way. So if you know about the other options, sometimes you can apply basic logic as well to deal with questions, not just legal current affairs questions, any question. So basically the court has passed the law for people to take up 
uh, for women who can take up the indi examination uh, in the past you must have seen there was another order that came uh, with respect to women in the army that they should be granted permanent commission this came in the case of babita punya so all these cases are very very important for you guys uh, keep studying uh, keep reading on these things i hope you are checking up different legal websites just in case you're not enrolled or you know you are not following a particular coaching uh, i hope you are doing all this research from your end because it becomes important for your exams and anyone who's looking for uh, modules on uh, legal current affairs or uh, in any other case it for any your of your examinations then you can check up our website www.lawdigest.in where we have our modules available for you readily available for your preparation and uh, for videos like this subscribe to the channel if you are new keep following us on instagram where we keep posting important legal updates and don't forget to press the bell icon so that we stay connected